Hi guys, it looks like the Tories are trying for the hundredth time to find an issue they can cling on to and use as a stick to beat the new government with. Even if it's something that they in a sense supported when they were in power. So Melstride, a candidate for leadership of the Conservative Party and former Secretary of State for the DWP, criticised the new restrictions on smoking in beer gardens and public places, claiming that it infringed upon people's liberties and damaged business. However, he was reminded of his support for Rishi Sunak, who wanted to ban tobacco to a certain age group, and Mel engaged in a bit of hypocrisy. Have a listen. I think extending this into pub gardens, for example, where the risks of passive smoking are minimal, is not the right thing to do. I think it's the wrong balance. Because I think it's going to damage business, and I think it is uh, a, a press against individual freedom that is unnecessary and the wrong thing to do. Well, you say it's a press against individual freedom, mm. but Rishi Sunak, of course, you've worked with for a very mm. long time, uh, mm. wanted to stamp out smoking. He said he was prepared to take bold action as yes. Prime Minister, and he brought in this phased tobacco ban, uh, which sees this gradual raising of the age limit at which you can buy cigarettes, which has been taken on by the government. So was he wrong as well? No, he was right, and I would support that. And the distinction is that in that case, we're looking at people who have never been legally uh, entitled to smoke. It's still taking away saying, their freedoms though, isn't it? Well, these are people that never had that freedom in the first place in a sense, isn't it? Whereas what I think you're saying with those that are smoking in pub gardens is that you've been able to do it before uh, perfectly legitimately and we're suddenly going to change that. Now, I would be... <laughs> but that's like saying, you know, people used to be able to smoke on airplanes. People, can you imagine this? People used to be able to smoke in cinemas. But some draconian government came along and took that right away from people. Now, when he mentioned here, of course, pub gardens is not the same as smoking in an aircraft or in the cinema. But the risk is lower, yes. But there's still a risk. And the government have to balance the rights of people to smoke and the rights of people not to be impacted by that smoke. Because the impact of that passive smoke can result in people ending up in hospital and that's a massive cost to the NHS, an NHS which is already underfunded and is struggling at the moment. Like, I don't buy for a second this argument that the Tories try to push. This is about liberty, personal liberties, and this is about um, protecting business. We heard what Boris Johnson had to say about business, <laughs> and we know that the Tories have run the NHS into the ground over the last 14 years. So don't buy for a moment this idea of liberty or protecting business. When it comes to this issue in particular, this is about public health. This is about protecting people from passive smoking because it's a huge cost to society. It's a huge cost to the NHS. So you have to draw the line somewhere. Um, people's liberties will have to be infringed upon. Now, if the Tories are really interested in protecting people's liberties, I'm sure they would consider taking the British government to the European Court of Human Rights. <laughs> but I don't think people's inf liberties are infringed upon here. You can smoke in your home. You can smoke in your car. Um, you know, there are areas in certain businesses where you can smoke. So this is about protecting the public, people in public areas. Look, I, I think the government, while the Tories are trying to ramp up anger over this and, you know, Reform UK with Nigel Farage trying to beat the drum of liberty or the right to smoke cigars in pubs or whatever, this isn't really going to work with the public. The public are pretty much on board with a ban on smoking. We saw it about 20 years ago, the fear-mongering, Project Fear in the run-up to the, the smoking ban about tw over 20 years ago. And then after, well, you know, some businesses struggled, others actually benefited because they started serving food. And I think when it comes to this, there will be a bit of a backlash, but the public is on board. And I think with this new government, they've been very careful about which policies they push and how they push these policies. And they're checking whether the, the public are on board. And with this one, they certainly are. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.